decision? <laughs> we just got off the turnpike because um, there's a fireworks store back there and it says now open. Yeah, we're going to get some fireworks. <laughs> oh, here we go, TNT fireworks. So how did you get into this? I'm a teacher <laughs> and this is summer fun. I Just, love it. Yeah. Does it go up high and is there all different colours and yes. stuff? This will be the finale for my mum's birthday. Happy customers. Alright, we've got a 12 hour drive ahead of us. When the sun goes down, we're gonna have some fun and then we're gonna keep going. We're off to Miami Airport, then the Bahamas, baby. Weekend at Moto America Mini Cup Challenge is done and dusted. We had a great weekend as far as racing goes. Crews got a podium, second place on the first day, and then the second day we had kind of um, some issues, which is perfect for racing. We all learned lessons. It was a tough one to swallow, but still managed to get fifth place after a crash in the first. We restarted. Um, he was injured, but rode like a champion, sh shaped it off. And then after the race, I realised that the whole weekend our suspension had been broken. So we have an issue with the front suspension. We're going to get that worked on. We're loving it. Hope you guys enjoy the content. I know one little guy down here is absolutely doing awesome, and two of his brothers who can't wait to get out there and get a taste of the action. So we're going to keep this flowing. But for now, we're on another mission. So you'll see that video next week. Cheers, guys. Is this facing the right way? I think we need to make sure they're facing the right way. Some ramps around. He's gonna start off um, by doing some backflips on the on the BMX bike. He's at the top of the driveway yelling at me, um, am, "Am I ready to go?" If you get it wrong, I think it's it's uh, amplified on the motorcycle, and the BMX bike is essentially different because it has no suspension. But 
It's a good starting point, so we'll start there. Here we go. Ready to start the flip school, brother? Yes, sir. You're looking mighty funny. You're <laughs> like hot rod there. So the right. technique I'm teaching uh, Zach here is that I've watched these flips online, and from what I've noticed is he pulls a little bit early. And what happens there is when you pull in, the bike can't release because it's the rear wheel still on the ramp. So you need to kind of like wait until the front wheel goes off the ramp and then pull. As, as your weight transfers, it allows the back wheel to go through the ramp rather than trying to bury into the ramp. Zach DiPolo, ladies and gentlemen, from Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> Real slow. Beautiful. Dude, I don't even ride BMX, so like, you know. <laughs> that was clean. I'm stoked. Good job. Thanks, man. Oh, that looks better. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Nice. Beautiful. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Dude, that was clean. Good job. That is so much faster than I would think I would need. Yeah. So when uh, Zach showed up, his suspension was super soft. Uh, my buddy JB, maybe I suspension, he's making like 50 rounds, did some adjustments and he's loving it. Yeah! Oh, I bet he feels like it's night and day. So much better! Yeah! So much better! Wow! Yeah. <laughs> cool. Alright, brother. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Up on the controls. Let's go. Go, first jump. That foot there, you can see uh, Zach unfortunately pulled just that little bit early, and that's been his whole problem with all the flips that I've seen of, on his Instagram that he's done. And that's the reason he's come here to Matters Flip School to iron this out. And um, we've identified it. So I put on a little uh, white strip at the top of the ramp, painted a white line. So here's a reference point now where to where to start his oh. pull. I'm so proud of Zach. He's driven all the way across the country to uh, get this opportunity and I'm stoked to work with him. Awesome dude, he's doing great. Rogers hitting it now. So he's gonna try a flip on the BMX bike for his first time. Here he goes. Yeah! yeah. Nice! Yeah! Today's day three with Luke. Trying to get this flip down. I think his main issue has just been he's just he's pulling too early. And this is something that he's got some deep muscle memory on, so it's 
been trying to identify that. I think his technique's good, other than just pulling too early. So the goal today is to just try and delay the pull and hopefully he comes around, can get them smooth and get him to dirt. That's, that's his goal, that's what he came here for. So hopefully that's what we can achieve today. Let's see how we go. Ready, buddy? Yeah, ready. It's game plan today. So we're gonna pull a little later. And I think yesterday, it's a little tired just from everything this week and uh, I wasn't, I forgot to stare at the top of the ramp. Yeah. So I was really thinking about staying back, but because I was still pulling a ninja chop early, it's throwing me forward. Yeah. So I think if I know kind of now to stay back, so I'm gonna just stare at the top of the ramp, try to pull as yeah. late as I'll let myself, and I think that will solve all the problems. I so so. Yeah. Okay. Scary, dude. Yeah, a bit scary. We had so much smoke coming out of the foam pit. Woo, yeah, new fear unlocked, but I uh, got through it. <laughs> yeah, I think from here, let's just go back to the to super kicker, maybe like a pit bike, and just, you gotta learn to like, when you pull off the ramp to have your hips go back. Yeah, into that position. Stay back there. That's the flip position it's at. So I think just think about it for some time and we'll, re re we'll regroup on this another day. Sounds good. Woo, yeah, breathing in that smoke was, uh, Scary second, but you boys are on it. Save my life. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh. What do you think, Rocco? <laughs> Good. So we are uh, rounding up the little session that we had. Zach came in town for three days to learn the, the backflip, and he had all intentions, and I thought he could do it, and ultimately he did do several that we would have ridden away from, but we never got to the spot where we're like, all right, take it to dirt. So I know you're bummed, but he's leaving this time, you know, without ultimately getting the, 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 the flip to the dirt, but he learned a lot and it's made him realize now that the technique is so critical and just the timing of it is, is, is critical. But it's really hard to just get it all right. So congrats, dude, your, your weapon. Just kept getting belted in there. Every time I thought it was like gonna be a bad result, he just kept getting out. So I wish we could have done more in the foam pit. Unfortunately, last time we went in, the buck was wide open in there and it started, smoke started coming out of the foam pit. I thought it was catching on fire. It was a really stressful situation, but we got him out safely. We got the bike ice like turned off. So I wanted to shut down because I want to have an isolation kill switch, which is uh, like a jet ski has. So as soon as he comes disconnected, the bike's automatically dead and we didn't have time to do that today. So I thought we'd just cut it short and just, you know, take take the lesson, the learning lesson and not rush it. I think that's the key to staying, staying healthy in, in the environment we're dealing with. What we're doing is so dangerous. So we'll do it, buddy. Amen, brother. Good luck in your journey. <laughs> you got this. Stuck for it. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of it and props to Zach. <laughs>